Okay, class, we are now in week five. And um, I was just really happy to see you guys engaged and finding so much interest in the topic of Alexander the Great. And now we're moving along into Rome. So, so important um, for understanding Western civilization. And um, the legacy cannot be overstated. So we talk about... Greece and Rome, and it's just so overtly a part of what it means to be Western. Um, and again, I always say this can be a negative thing or it can be a positive thing. Um, so I'm not making a value judgment, I'm making an empirical fact. These, the, these two civilizations emerge together, a Greco-Roman tradition uh, with the influence of uh, Alexander the Great and then Caesar, Julius Caesar, as you'll see, just so huge. <laughs> Sorry, I threw my back out a little bit, I think. Ugh! Anyways, we're mere mortals, right? That's, well, at least, you know, the body. Well, it's a whole other topic, right? Okay, anyways. So, um, I uh, hope that you guys are having a uh, great week so far. And, um, let's see, what was I going to say? Okay, so, uh, much of the work is going great. I think you guys are now starting to get the flow. This is the first exam paper. I just want to remind you, gosh, I really, I don't know what happened here. All right, so, um, by the way, I always wonder, like, when, like news forecast, you know, people, like reporters and stuff, you, you, you know they must get, like, itches or, like, back pains or something like that on there, and they just got to take it, you know. So, for all the criticism of, of media and all of its problems, they're kind of hardcore, if you think about the ability that they have to be articulate smoothly, which you can see I don't do, and then to just, like, kind of pretend that your body feels perfect all the time, like, just have that flow. Anyways, okay, so, moving on. Um, I just want to remind you that my class is mainly success is based on keeping up with the routine the exams matter but it's 25 points so I what I'm just saying is that some some classes are very much focused on success in the exams my class is focused on you keeping up the routine every week and doing what you're doing that's that's the key to success in my class I just want to remind you of that okay so um, all right having said that um, what else did I want to say? There was something else. Okay. Oh, so I just, I, I'm posting uh, a video and links about some current events going on in Greece. And this gives you an excellent opportunity to see how your learning of history from the past might help you to start seeing some of the complexities of current politics now. And when I say now, I mean as in like like today or yesterday or today now. Yeah, or like, like right now, the second now. So... There are these massive demonstrations taking place in Greece because Greeks are angered over the issue of Macedonians taking on the name Macedonia. Um, instead of me explaining this or whatever, I, what I want you to do is look at the link that I have, uh, uh, some Greek uh, news, and, and see this Al Jazeera English video. By the way, I always recommend Al Jazeera English. Such quality reporting. Um, I'm just saying. It's just like... any Anyhow. Um... You might be a little bit confused still, but you'll start, you know, you know, you'll you're hear you'll hear about Alexander the Great being brought up. Macedonia we did talk about, and then you see how current history goes. Now, now, this is one thing that I'll just add in here to help you out a little bit. The controversy is this. Basically, Macedonians now are Slavic people. And so Greek people basically feel like, hey, you know, you Slavs weren't a part of this historical legacy, and now you're trying to claim it. That's the approach that Greek nationalists are taking. I'm not making any, uh, 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 I'm not stepping into this taking a side, okay? Especially, if, you know, if I got some uh, Macedonian friends there, some Greek friends out here, okay? Uh, for many of, uh, of you that are not a part of this, it means nothing. For the people there, it means everything. It's, it's a very, very um, intense uh, uh, discussion. And I remember reading a book years ago, I think it was called Baltic Ghosts or something like that, that basically talked about how many like like heavy metal songs are about Alexander the Great and, and stuff like that in Macedonia. So, so again, what I'm just trying to show you is that uh, um, 
that the history that we learn does help you put together some of these issues that are taking place in the world now like and 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 that for many people in the world just as many Americans now our perception of history matters in a way that sometimes is almost mind-boggling um, but it's really important to people and people spill blood people will go to prison people will do very mean things or do very heroic things and the name of fighting for what they conceive true history to mean and its implications on the present so 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 you know just, i just want you to always think about the power of that okay um if you have any questions for me let me know again I, i've been really busy the last two days um so I just want to remind you of my schedule. You can always try to get a hold of me. It's just I apologize. I work nearly 10-hour days, uh, Friday, Saturday, and uh, Mondays. So um, you can try to get a hold of me any days, but just the best ones are on Sundays and then Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays. I try to get some time off and have some sort of like enjoyment in my life uh, in terms of, I mean, I enjoy history, I enjoy all of it, but I mean, you know, like, you know, walk down the street and look at the birds and not actually like try to be engaged in doing work. Uh, I should try to make time like that for myself. So I hope you guys all can try to do that also. Um, in any case, uh, I hope you're having a great end of your weekend. Oh yeah, it's the football game. See, look at, this is how, this is how unhip your professor is. So y'all don't care about this right now. Well. In any case, many of you who are, are well, enjoy your football. <laughs> Sorry, you can obviously, I've outed myself. I just haven't followed football in a while, you know, but, you know, I feel you. Okay, I understand it's important. It's an American value. Got it. Um, so, you know, and have your, your Super Bowl fun, and uh, we will be in touch. Uh, um, yeah, that's it. All right.